Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising. It is the second week of December 2017 and in this week of December um, we have the energy vibration of the chariot. I want to say welcome and I want to say thank you to each and every person that has been supporting me on my journeys. Thank you so much. It's just a weird time for you Capricorns is coming up to your birthday but just weird things weird energies are around you Capricorns this is really sad um, as we look around we are seeing that certain energies and certain situations are taking place I think for most of you Capricorns it's as if you're downloading and changing so many things around um, whatever that was stolen and that sort of a thing they're seeing this coming up so there is going to be a lot of questions that i need to ask for you guys i want to say thank you for the support the likes and share um don't forget to remember to um really um uh, don't forget to remember to really um, um listen to yourself when you rise and sign and whatever the situation that is going on in your life be aware that uh, um, you need to find inner strength because inner strength and with inner strength you're going to have a victorious outcome to whatever that is going okay so you Capricorns in this week is going to need inner strength it's one of the last week before your birthday week so I can imagine you're finishing off the year 2016 and clearing up a lot of stuff because the energy of the swords are here and the two of one so let's see what is happening for you guys so this is um the beginning of the week actually very good wow i thought you're you are surely something because i thought your situations was a little bit down but it's looking good okay show me what's happening okay all right it's not looking that bad because you have the energy of the world so it's good um the energy of the world with inner strength by finding inner strength you're going to overcome a lot of stuff you have the energy of the world and by finding inner strength um you are going to realize that you're going there's an ending so this week for you capricorns is really finding inner strength and with that inner strength you are going to start on a new journey in your life and this is going to be a really positive energy a journey that is going to take you to some place where situations are just so um things are going to be happening for you okay so let's go ahead and see what else is happening for you capricorns all right i hope you can see um the reader okay so here we go let's look and see what is happening because there's going to be a lot of questions that i'm going to be asking um the sun and the star together is wonderful okay this is you know people like to see money in a reading but the sun and the star together it's going to be powerful it's going to be good because you can see a reverse form which is playing here in this reading because normally the reading is from the ground upwards and there's a reverse form that is playing which you can see because you're seeing that the underlying in the card is so the energies are so um up and away your weekend is going to be a weekend of water and hair water and hair so kind of balance out that because whatever is happening is water and hair so you know things are going to be happening to you um as as you look at this you have the five of of, of, of pentacles and the seven of swords so something money was stolen from you guys the crowning from the week is the six of cups which is good it's a situation that you have um with someone who is uh, um an Aries and this is someone who is older um, 45 and older and this is a soul connection okay so let's look at your week because as I look at your week the energy the number 
the five is there's changes that is coming in for you guys okay so let's look at Monday Monday you have a regret and sadness you have regrets and sadness on Monday but with this regret and sadness there's something good that is going to come of it whatever this regret and sadness is there is something good um, the energy of the Sun new energy new situations whatever you decide to do on Monday go ahead and do it because it's going to be positive okay so I I will say to you whatever the sadness and regret that you have taken over from the week before uh, or you have been dealing with you need to release it because once you release that sadness uh, that is going on within you you are going to realize that um, positive energy is going to come in so let go of whatever because you have the energy of the world here okay so this is good as we look at Tuesday a Tuesday you have the energy of the two of ones whatever to the situation if you're looking for work um, doors of opportunities are going to be opening up for you it's as if the universe is going to bring you at the right place at the right time so whatever it is that you're looking for the two of ones is here and portal a door is opening up and this is going to be extremely positive so you're seeing that if you were looking for work this is going to happen in a magical way you are going to be um, surprised at what is coming in and what it is that you're going to be receiving the crowning of your week you have the six of cups so you have a situation with someone who is uh, um, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, okay? And um, because there's so many um, situations, I'm going to ask what does this woman has to do? Um, what is the situation? What is happening um, between you and this person? Because you and this person is, uh, and this could be a family member, while it could be. Um, someone else you and this person have a karmatic situation let's see what is this all about okay okay so <laughs> okay on Monday on Wednesday in this week it doesn't have to be on Wednesday some of you have a karmatic situation with someone who is an uh, Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian, and this person have a connection with a man. So it could be for some people, this is a family member, it could be your parents, it could be um, someone who you know, it could be a friend for some people. But whoever this person is, you and this woman have a karmatic situation with this man and there is a situation that is playing out this could be your husband this woman could be with this man and you're connected with this man it could be for some people that you have a relationship with a man and this woman knows about this relationship this relationship is something that is karmatic so it's a, a three uka relationship is something that is really karmatic for some people is that you're going she is going to find out about you um that this man has been seeing you and um this is coming from far it's a it's a it's a karmatic it's, it's a situation that transpired in lifetime and lifetime before and this woman is not going to be happy um, and that is for some people it, this is looking at a relationship with someone who this man had an affair with you and then apparently his wife found out about it something like that so um, the situation is going to be affecting a lot of you people it could be that this is someone who has a, a sister and this could be your sister and your husband that you guys are having karmatic situation this could be also um, a situation where um, this is a couple that you have to deal with 
and um, but it's more telling me that it is a situation where someone was having a relationship with a man and his wife found out or realized who what was going on okay all right we're moving forward and we're looking at um, Thursday Thursday you have the seven of swords and this the, the five of pentacles you have the seven of swords and the five of pentacles okay um, the seven of swords is that money was stolen from you be careful and be aware of what is happening money um, was stolen from you okay be careful and be aware let's see what exactly uh, yeah yep you see uh, the key always tell you the truth so money was stolen from you go or prepare yourself because money is going to be stolen from you be aware of this um, as I ask the question you see the energy of the, the the key comes out which is saying yes it is it is true uh, be aware check your bank accounts check everything around you um, whatever is happening check everything and let's see where did this money uh, got stolen okay whatever the money that was stolen from you um they come an end to it so if money was stolen out of your house if money has been taken from you um, from out your bank account and that sort of a thing um it, it there come an end to it okay so money was stolen from you somehow money was stolen from you and there come an end to it you have the seven of wands the seven of one energy with the six of swords you're moving away from a situation you you know you you should protect yourself because you're not re really protecting yourself against you weren't protecting yourself properly and this is why this money was stolen and now the energy on friday is saying you need to protect yourself there is an end to come into whatever has happened and whatever the, the money that was stolen to you there is an end that is at it and the seven of wands is saying that you're not protecting yourself you're not looking properly and this is why you have not seen this happen to you because you left yourself to open okay you left yourself to open it could be that you don't check the money on your bank account or you don't check um, how much money is in your purse that sort of a thing and people can be stealing from you without you knowing it and what I'm getting is that if you have not gotten um, a check or money that you are supposed to receive, you need to um, call and and go after it because um, someone is trying to do something, but and and a stoppage is going to come to it. Your weekend is a weekend of water. On Saturday, um, it's very emotional. On Saturday, it's going to be a very emotional day. You have the energy of the Eye Princess, and the energy of the Eye Princess comes in. It's very emotional because you have the Eight of Cups. You're, uh, you want to leave something behind. It's as if things have transpired that you want to leave them behind. It's as if uh, your whole world, whatever has happened, um, you want to leave this behind. And by leaving this behind, you're moving to something very positive and very good in your life. Okay, because whatever has transpired, you're realizing that you know you need to leave that behind because um, there is no ending to it. On Sunday, you have the Eight of um, Swords, the energy of the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles you are finally seeing something about a money situation it's as if the money that was stolen from you on sunday you're really seeing what happened what has transpired and you are going to let's see what is going to happen because you finally see you finally realize that money was stolen from you 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 really finally realize that money was stolen from you and there come an end because you realize and you saw it and there is going to come an end and with that end there is information a secret is going to be coming out because you're going to realize that 
money was stolen from you this and, and it is from someone who you know that connection um, it can be um, someone who you have a good um, you know okay what I'm receiving from this is that some people lived with people and they were stealing from you this is going to affect a lot of people because if you notice you're now seeing if you look at how this is playing out the seven of swords is always that someone stole something from you and tried to get away with it it was money and you finally you finally found out about it and it, there comes an end to it and with this ending you really now are seeing what has transpired it was a karmatic situation and then you're going to get a message a secret some people are going to get a message and a secret is going to come out about a couple and it's as if this this couple was taken from you without you even knowing this it's as if they have been doing it for a while because the energy if you notice this reading comes up with a lot of energy of couples because this is a couple whoever this person is but it has nothing to do with them it has something to do with some of you were living with people or um, people were coming um, into your house uh, um, you know you're going to realize that people have um, it's as if okay let's say that money was sent to you via a check or something you are going to realize that someone in your old world let's say you're staying with family for a while and that sort of a situation you're going to realize that someone in your old soul took the money that came for you okay and you're going to you, it's, it's, it's as if it's going to be clear to you this could be a situation where uh, there's a couple and um, what happened is that uh, um, for some reason um, something transpired and you realize that um, a theft has taken place because here it is it is here and you finally realize it and it's going to come to an end money something was stolen from you and you're going to realize that so it could be here it is money but here you're going to realize because it's the energy of money keep on coming up because you have the two of pentacles and you have the energy of 20 this energy is contracts um yeah this energy is contracts because here is the end of a negative situation see the blackbirds and that sort of a thing a secret is going to come out and the secret is going to come out about a couple and or about someone who you have a relationship with or a contract with but somehow you're going to realize because something is going to come out that is going to a secret is going to come out you're going to see here because it's obviously here so a secret is going to come out um, for you people who are in relationship and in marriage a secret is going to come out and you're going to find out something about your partner um, whatever is transpiring um, whatever um, that is happening um, you're going to find out the truth of a situation um the seven of swords is always someone trying to get away with something and it has to do with money that someone that you know there's a theft that that took place but it's coming to an end um this situation that is happening here is the seven of wands and you want to leave something behind because you you found out that and you want to leave something behind and I want to know what is this what is it because you're not protecting yourself properly that's why there was a tiff and it's the energy of someone who um, have you know the, the power and it's a love 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 Wow. 
This person is, is very domineering. Very, very, very domineering. Some of you are in a relationship with someone who's extremely domineering. And it's a soulmate relationship, but this person is very, very domineering. Be careful. Um, you Capricorns, your readings are always so long. <laughs> Let's see what the Eye Princess and the Eight of Cups, what is happening that um, your intuition is set. The sun is coming out. Oh my God, thank you. I couldn't end your reading without an accent. <laughs> so this is good. This is positive whatsoever is happening. You have the sun twice in your reading. So Oh, what transpired in this week, the sun, the energy of the sun. This is positive. So whatever regrets you have, you are going to have a successful, uh, whatever you decide to do on Saturday, go ahead and do it. Um, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a yes. So Monday and Tuesday is a positive day. And let me remind the, the people about this situation. Um, obviously, whoever this person is with this woman who is a fire sign person um this is a karmatic situation it's as if you have met this person this person you either fall in love with this person or this person either fall in love with you and uh, his wife or girlfriend or whoever is going to um realize this they're going to realize what happened I would say to you, step back, leave it, because he's not married to you. Let it go. Let it go, people. Let it go. As usual, your reading is over 20 minutes. Let's move on. So there's a lot of successful things that are coming in, even though it began as if, you know, it's going to be doomsday in this week. But there's a lot of situation that is going to happen a lot of things that is going to you're going to find out the secrets about um a couple that they took your money that sort of a thing and um you know this is you know the energy for the people on friday is going to realize that they're in a relationship that their soulmate or twin thing is very very domineering you know so be aware of this okay let's see what is happening what other energies you guys have you have the eye princess coming up twice so it's going to be a very very psychic week the energy of the eye princess coming up twice and right beside each other so there is obviously a message from the eye princess whenever the eye princess comes out is your spirit guides are sending you messages so um twice beside each other this is a powerful message some things are not meant to be known intellectually but are meant to be experienced through intuition this cards remind you to trust that you have access to the higher wisdom and knowledge when you attune and trust uh, the vibrations this is the time when mysteries will be revealed and you can grow as that result isn't that wonderful that is so wonderful because the eye princess together they um you can see the eye princess coming up together um so it's going to be a powerful intuition remember that you um capricorns or um the the present have the present of the spirit world which is always with you okay for any question in this week we're going to ask the questions to see what's happening and the angel answers don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop things are going to be good don't stop just keep on going keep on being positive in your life and wonderful things are going to be coming out okay so don't stop remember whoever is having a relationship or whatever and the other person fi found out about the relationship let this person go because he chose to be in that relationship don't fight it it's not he didn't marry you or he's not with you let it go okay 
I want to say to you guys, um, wishing you a wonderful, wonderful week um, for the ladies out there who's uh, gonna, um, the other person is gonna find out about you. Whatever girl, you're a Capricorn, take it easy, move on, that's life. Um, <laughs> It's going to be a positive Saturday. It's going to be a wonderful day. And Monday is going to be a wonderful day. Whatever is the regrets, whatever came over from the week before, it's going to be positive. Tuesday is another wonderful day. Whatever you're planning to do it on Tuesday, go for it. Go ahead and do it. Wednesday, the people who are in, um, uh, who are sharing a man, um, his wife or woman is going to find out about it. Yeah whatever <laughs> yeah i'm sorry but um whatever just leave it alone move on move on there are other fishes in the sea don't you know for the people who are going to find out that money has been stolen from you and you are going to realize who did it on sunday it's going to come out a secret is going to come out and a couple um you're going to find out that a couple did it to you not to worry for the people who are in soulmate and twin flame relationship there is something powerful here that is happening your partner is very um demanding so be aware of that your reading has been the longest reading i want to say to each and every person i love you your birthday is coming up don't not to worry you're just cleaning up stuff in the year 2016 and yes you are still working in 2016 you're about to start 2017 so don't worry namaste